All right. <laughs> That's the third location at uh, Taqueria Magay. Magay. How do you say it? It's not your gay or our gay, it's <laughs> Magay. Magay. <laughs> so Magay, I believe, is a plant, if I'm not mistaken. Man. I'll put it somewhere here, what it really is. But. Yeah, you gotta be really open-minded and <laughs> to, to name your restaurant like that, Magay. <laughs> well, it is 2020, right? I always seen. I think we've been to a place like that. That's yeah. like something I sold, remember? I think at least it's not named Yorge. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. Yorge. Oh, you're thinking that kind of wording. Oh, okay. Yeah. What would you think I'll yeah. play it off? No, I thought you were thinking about why would you name your restaurant a, 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 a plant or something. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no one knows Mage is a plant other than a Mexican. Other than a Mexican, Mexican yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess so. It's kind of funny now that you, now that you mention it. That's it. As long as that never, nah, never yeah, crossed my mind. Yeah, just <laughs> your game, that that never fine. crossed my mind. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway. So we got, I believe he gave us uh, Al Pastor and Chorizo. So Chorizo is not that you know often recommended yeah, it's little taquitos yeah. <laughs> you almost want to call them taquitos right they're so small and we we're w wondering too why it was so cheap i was like five dollars something like yeah oh. i thought he hooked it up yeah but no nah, they're just they're that small I mean, so it's actually cheap. a pretty good size you know it's a good snack yeah. size yeah you probably you probably kill off like these by yourself yeah, yeah. you're good yeah. yeah for five bucks that's not bad at all yeah I'm bad. All right, I kind of so, want to try that chorizo first since we don't yeah, have uh, yeah, do we don't have chorizo that often, <laughs> or at all, or at all. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> For you dirty thinkers yeah. out there. <laughs> What's funny is even though once chorizo, once al pastor, the coloring almost looks the same, huh? Yeah, because al pastor is already kind of red tint, mm -hmm. so al, al chorizo is already red. So it looks like a double, small, double white corn tortilla, cilantro, cebolla, and that's about it. And the protein. Yeah, hey, good things come in small packages, ladies. Yes, they do. Yes. Small Asian packages. <laughs> okay. Non-refundable packages. <laughs> <laughs> that's decent. I like this, got a little bit of crunch to it. Tastes just like a chorizo taco would. Oh. <laughs> It's nothing spectacular, but for these prices, I don't think you know you can really ask for too much. Yeah, well, it's, it's just very decent. It's a solid three. If someone offered me these tacos, I wouldn't turn them away. Especially since they're so small and cute. <laughs> Those Filipinos are so cute. Is so that what they cute. say? <laughs> <a> Filipino accent. <laughs> yeah, so all, is cute. that what they say? And I'm talking to a Filipino. Is that what you guys say? What's one word that Filipinos use a lot when they're eating, like to describe food? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting question. <laughs> well, I guess if it's good set up. What? Set up. Set up? Set up. What is that? Set up. Set up? It's delicious. Oh, set up. You mm -hmm. just say set up and that's, that means it's delicious? I say I don't really... Cause usually Filipinos are just talking about other things when they're eating. <laughs> they're not really talking about the food. <laughs> they never say they're how good it is. They're making with the they're, never... no, they're just making with the gossip. Yeah, cheese yeah. Uh... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's not something I've ever yeah, set up. It's probably, I set up. Ooh. It'd be like that. Is that how they say it? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they move their head up and down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because I can't really imagine a guy saying it would always be, yeah, it'd always be a woman. I set up. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I forgot to put salsa. It's just so small. I just like, spilled it. <laughs> you probably don't need to add it. Yeah. It already has it on there too. Okay. Oh yeah, so they did give us this like translucent green <laughs> yeah, salsa. Translucent green. You can barely see it in green. Red, red salsa that looks almost like, like it's meant for chips, salsa, but the yeah. chip salsa is over here. Yeah. They did give us a bag of chips too. I mean, you think about a five bucks for these four small tacos and a bag of chips. So that's not a bad deal. Yeah, you're getting pretty good value. Yeah. You're still getting <laughs> better value than you would at Taco Bell, I think. Or you'd rather spend oh, you get, five bucks at Taco you Bell. Get the, Usually get like that box, right? Yeah, I'm saying a, for five bucks, I think this is better than Taco Bell. This yeah. shit all day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, fuck Taco Bell. Why don't you take a bite of that chili? Tell me how good it is. <laughs> all right, I'll put it next. And then it's just decent. It's got a little bit of crunch, which I like. These are both solid threes. But if you're looking for bang for your buck. I think it's a good spot, you know, a good deal. You save a lot of money. I actually give these four. Really? Both of them. Got a little grilled 
Serrano, I think. Yeah, it's got some kick to it. I just bit it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some kickback. <laughs> Delicious. This place looks a little plaza, mm -hmm. but it tastes like a place that would be small, like in a little, little neighborhood. Uh, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It doesn't taste like a plaza taqueria. So I like that because it, it keeps the essence of, you know, the little small taquerias that are really good. That's why I give it a four. Give it a four for character. Exactly. Good character, man. Good character pays out. Verdict time. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I should have like a some kind of drop, huh? Like yeah. A, like verdict. A, yeah. <laughs> favorite place, favorite taco. You go first. Man, that's a tough one. Yeah. It's really tough. They're all I mean, pretty even, huh? Yeah, they're all pretty decent. Mm. I mean, it's still way better than Berkeley. That's oh, how bad yeah. Berkeley was. Way better than Berkeley. That's For a sure. tough one. So remember the first spot. I would have to say my favorite spot is probably... It's probably the first spot. It's because I gave both of those fours. Uh, but, I mean, it's not in the nicest neighborhood. Mm. Here, mind you. And, you know, it kind of stinks over there in the air. So, mm. you know what? Actually, I take that back. <laughs> Favorite spot probably have to be the second one, which was uh, oh, yeah. La Tacria Mexicana. Mm -hmm. Am I sounding more and more Spanish and Mexican here? <laughs> Just because it's nice plaza, really nice spot, really nice ladies. The places that you don't like <laughs> usually. Yeah, the places that you usually don't like. <laughs> but my favorite tacos were from the first spot. And uh, what did we have at the first spot? We had a barbacoa, the crispy and, one, and carnitas. And right? carnitas. Yeah, I, really, I like the carnitas from the first spot. It's my favorite mm -hmm. taco of the day. Favorite spot. I am being unprofessional again. <laughs> Come on, man. Los Gatos. Who would I know in Los Gatos? It's probably another <laughs> person. This not saying that my warranty is running out. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Get that all the damn time. Warranty, <laughs> warranty. What's your favorite spot in taco? Damn. It's a tough one, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, what are you thinking? I'm gonna try out some of these <laughs> chips they gave us. Oh, these are from this spot? Yeah, oh. all in the bag, always a good sign. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna go with the second spot or favorite spot. It has, they, they have a really cool establishment. And remember when we were walking out, we saw that they had a bar area on the other side. I feel like that's a really cool spot after COVID where you could go enjoy yourself and have good tacos. I mean, the tacos are pretty good. And. It's a, it's like a, in a plaza, like a shopping center. So you have plenty of parking. You don't have to worry about all that. So it's, it's good. I like it. Branding is, is decent. You know, the everything inside looks nice. Yeah, that's the one thing I would say about the first spot is their branding. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we're not judging branding, but you can't help but notice it when. Yeah. You have four signs there, and they all look very different from each yeah. other. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's be consistent here. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, like you said, it's not like that's going to determine if it's a good place or not, but we're yeah, judging yeah. it by overall experience. Yeah, yeah. So, favorite taco? You know what? Believe it or not, this Al Pastor was my favorite. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I, I think it has the character of a smaller place in a na small neighborhood where it stands out as being one of the best taquerias, that kind of vibe but it's yet yeah, it's in a plaza area so i don't know i just i just have that feeling that that recipe hasn't changed much or something and it's just that good and it's small and you could and it's affordable too so it's there are a lot of pluses there sounded like it's your favorite spot actually no just a taco mm -hmm, okay. yeah the the spot i mean it's not a it's not a bad spot but i like to experience more on the second location mm -hmm. more but yeah definitely uh this is a cool spot for yeah and tracy you're you're a lot nicer town than i was expecting you know because i mean <laughs> when you hear about tracy you just hear there's nothing out here i mean that's you actually, never really hear about tracy no really. that's the thing yeah listen well i said well, when you do uh, hear about you just yeah. hear about the cheap housing but actually it's a nice town yeah because how you have enough you know civilization going on out here it's not the boondocks no yeah you have plenty of stuff i mean i'm sure we only scratch the surface but yeah. There's got to be tons of things. Yeah, so here. just right here. You got Indian food. You got mm -hmm. pizza. Yeah. You got the taqueria. Popeyes. You got, also you got Popeyes <laughs> across the street. <laughs> yeah. There's a coffee shop. So yeah. yeah, you got enough here for a good life. Yeah. 
and then you know affordable where you could buy acres I'm yeah sure. yeah you yeah have your own farm yeah you we ran into some woman who just moved here from hayward literally last night was her first night yeah as y'all know i live in hayward so like, oh what yeah. a small world yeah and they she said it was like unreal that she has such a big backyard yeah and she was saying that she has <laughs> chickens and all that yeah. and I, was, I was asking her well, how did you sleep with all the chickens like you know they're making noise oh they're in the barn all the way out there it's like, like come on you should know better they're whoops. like an acre away come on yeah. mama money bags <laughs> yeah. no but that's that's dope though you know that you're able to you know uh, afford a bigger place with the salary i don't know from the uh, south bay or whatever you know yeah i could see myself living out here yeah I mean, what's the Mike and Chris on this on YouTube, Weekly <laughs> Vlog, it's a big, with your help and you guys subscribe and watch. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, this one's got to cut that out of the video. No, no, of course not. <laughs> Gotta help him that out. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was pretty good though. Yeah, it's not, not bad. a bad, not a bad trip at all. Thank you for watching. Yeah, not right? a bad one for the first one of the year, first one of the new year. First one, first talk of tours, and we're going to continue to tackle all these cities as long as you guys yeah have where are we gonna end us. up in 2021 huh where are we gonna be well man that's what four cities per month right we really should start like me and like doing a map you could say here here's like yeah. draw lines here's where we've been yeah, kind of thing. Do that. So that, i think comment down below if you'd like to see that like a map of all the places we've hit up I think it would be interesting. Like a little little pushman, like yeah, falling yeah, yeah. in or, or something. Like I said, you can just put our heads on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can put what, like a smiling face or a sad face uh, if you liked it or yeah, not. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. This is all my wife's idea, by the way. So. Yeah. Shout out to Shout Chris. Out Chris. Yes, That's you do good, have yeah. good suggestions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>